Miss Evelyn's back again, and this is another Guess What? And we're going to make another Christmas decoration. It is this bottle. The cap comes off, and I can't decide if I want to put eh, candy in it. It'll hold candy very nicely, or I think it would look pretty at night with the tea light in it. I think that would be very pretty. So that being said, you can do both. <laughs> you know, you can have the best of both worlds. Put some candy in there and put a tea light in there. So that's what we're going to make. I scrounge. Every crafter in the world scrounges. You buy stuff, you keep stuff, bits and pieces. To make this, you're going to want some kind of lace. Now, I happen to be in a store that was selling Halloween mask. You love it? Hmm? You love it? That's what this is. I've cut it up and glued it on in such a way that you would never know it was this mask. Here's it in its packaging. Uh, they were very cheap, so, which is why I bought three of them. And uh, I can take the ribbons off and use the ribbons. There's just no end to what I can do with them. I have this green pretty tassel stuff that I cut off from something over the years, no idea. But you can use any lace, any decoration that you have that you like to go around the top. I did buy a, a bag of these evergreen branches. They bend and thought that would look nice. I do also have, and this was a find, these uh, stickers. There's the, the name of it right there, the stickers. Uh, you can get them at it, any of the craft stores. I use a lot of stickers. I like bling. I, instead of call me Evelyn, you just could call me bling. I don't care. It's okay. And then I did get some very tiny pine cones to add for decoration. There's some bells on there. Uh, anything to make it look pretty. I guess I didn't bring any more bells. Oh well. Okay, so let's get started. Now, you are going to need a jar. I save these small jars because you never know what you can do with them. <laughs> I have a box in my craft room that is nothing but jars, even pop bottles. You're going to need the, the blow dryer to get the labels. It loosens the glue on everything on your labels. And then you need glue gone, here you go, to get the rest of the glue off of the, the jar. And it just rubs off. It comes off very, very easily. It's not a problem. Now, because some of that the labels were sticking, I mean, I didn't want to use my fingernail on all of them to get them off. So I used a paint can scraper and, and scraped that paper off. It comes off real easy. It's not, you know, life can be tricky enough. Let's do this easily. And one more step is the peroxide, hydrogen peroxide. Is now I got to get all that glue gone off my jar. I need it to be clean. And I just found some more paper. Okay, now we're good. We'll just let it dry for a second and we're good. Okay. Go in there. You like my fancy trash can? Okay. Now this is a matter of, oh yeah, one more thing. I don't need these. Again, the blow dryer loosens the glue that holds these tags on and off it comes. I got ribbons. A little warm on the fingers sometimes. There we go. 
or not. Now it's a matter of, now you don't necessarily have these, I know that, but any pieces of lace that you've got, any pieces of pretty fabric that you have, how about pretty ribbons? Some of the ribbons that are out now are just so beautiful. They're a little pricey, but oh, they're so pretty. So I'm gonna fit this on, hopefully. See, it goes over. So what do I want to do? Do I want to leave that eye off there? I think so. I think so. So before I even glue anything on, I'm going to trim. How do I want to do that? That it looks good. So we've got to find some, a bottom. <laughs> i got to find a place to say, okay, this is the bottom. All right, I can see right now that's not going to fit. Okay. Oh, yes. Don't forget your protection. Protect your fingers from the glue. Now, it's just as easy to put the glue on and then put it on your, you may have to hold it a second or two. Okay, the beginning. Because I don't necessarily want that eyeball thing. I'm gonna do another trim. And bring that down there. Now, you've got to know I'm making this up as I go. Ow! Found the hot glue. Okay. It's starting to come. Now, this guy isn't going to fit, but we will glue him on later somewhere. All right, let's bring this around. That's where you think you have to put a little bit of glue to make the thing stay put. I don't use a lot. See, it's coming through the lacy part, hence you need these fingers because it hurts. I have to spread that apart a little bit. Okay, getting there. <sighs> yeah, we're gonna need another one in a second. You can get the glue at any the glue sticks at any of the craft stores. I've started using the clear so that any that shows under the laces that I use, you know, won't be milky. We'll just be clear. Okay, I don't like that, so I'm going to pull that back up. See, things aren't forever. You can make adjustments. Now we're going to try this again. Making him go where I want him to go. There you go. Much better. Almost done. But yes, what are we going to do with him? Well, we're going to maybe cut him off. because he doesn't, wasn't really fitting there very well. Let's glue these guys down. Okay, now we're gonna make this side up. 
how do we want this to be? Well, first of all, we can't go any higher than that. And then I'm going to cut it at the end here for the bottom. So let's tack this down. So I can get my bearings of where I need to cut. Uh, there'll be a little bit more scissoring. Okay, so now I want it just to be at the end. Good. It's kind of what I want. So we'll go around the edges and lightly glue. Uh, you're going to overlap. Okay. And you can go there and you can go there. But I don't want you there. But I will use it somewhere else. Because we have little holes. And you're going to do this with your lace, too. You're going to be fitting and adjusting. And, or your ribbon. Whatever you decide, you're going to be fitting and adjusting. Uh, now it comes together kind of well. Kind of well? Is that a... I don't know. Better. Come together better. Stay put. Stay down. Okay. It doesn't look too bad. These guys are poking up, so we'll give them some glue. Tell you, I'm glad I've got the protector. Now we have little pieces left. Come back here. Uh, where do I want them? I don't like this empty hole. So what can I put here? Yeah, I can put that whole thing there. So, come here, you. That fills in that hole nicely. And I have a few more little pieces. We need something here, I think. Maybe just that will be enough. All right, up or down? Down. And it looks like it came off of that one. Oh, that's so nice. I love it when that happens. Okay, now there, we have to have something there. And I think, I think, gotta see if it fits. I think it'll fit, yeah. Okay, so we'll glue that down. Trying very hard not to glue my fingers. Okay, do we have any other spots that I'm not happy with? Or could be better. Come on, you guys, you're supposed to lay flat, not supposed to stick up. Okay. I still have a little bit. I think the top looks good. Do I need something here? Could. So we'll cut this in half. Yeah, just to put there. And this is what you're going to do with all of your pieces. Just fitting them, to, filling in the holes. Okay. You know, sometimes they want to be stubborn. Or I didn't put the glue there because I didn't want to glue my finger. 
Probably the latter. Down. All right. I don't like that sticking out. Now. Okay. That being said, I think we're done with putting the lace or the cover on it. I have one little piece left. You never know where I may want that, so I'm not going to throw that away. Now, it is a choice of what I want to go around the base. Now, I did the other one in this beautiful green pretty. I suppose I should, might want to do with that because then they'd be matching. And if I wanted to give them as a gift, they'd be a matching set. But I fell in love with this gold stars. I couldn't even tell you where I picked it up. I don't remember. Okay, I like the gold stars, but they may not be enough. Okay, because there's holes, 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 holes. All right. It's so sad. Well, another craft, another day. So we're back to the green, which is, is beautiful. A little snip here. Stuff that's poking out. And a little glue, alrighty, another glue stick. I have a piece of plastic that I'm putting my uh, glue gun on. Okay, and here we start. Where's the front? Where's the front? Oh well, we're going here. And just around a bead of glue. Now, please don't do this without the finger protectors. Okay. Now we have to cut it. And where do we cut it to be most successful? Because I have little doodads hanging down here. Yeah, I almost used my thumb. And you'd have heard a squelch out of me because that hurts, that hot glue. My best guess. Could be trimmed just a little bit. <laughs> Get too much stuff here. Closer. And glued down. We want it to look finished, high end, okay, let me, okay, all right, I'll put that away, now, and I'll put my beautiful stars away, um, I didn't finish cleaning the cap off, they're still uh, residue of glue on that. Okay. Well done. This stuff is a godsend. Okay. 
ready to be decorated. Okay, go there. Now I showed you these beads before, because I have them on here just occasionally, but I think they add to it. So basically what I'm looking for are holes. See? There's a hole there. There's a hole there. There's a hole. There's no, not much rhyme or reason to why I'm just do, putting them where there's holes. That didn't work. That's true. All right, you behave yourself. Okay, they're giving me fits. Trying to give me a hard time. Sometimes you have to cut them. Oh, I think the one needs to go there okay and this one decided he wasn't going to stay so being ever so careful we'll put him down in well you little stinker come back here oh sometimes <laughs> okay, I won. I won. Okay. And all I'm doing is filling in holes now. And one here just occasionally. Don't give me a hard time. Just a few. Oh, definitely here. Well, there's not a hole, but it's a blanks place, so I'm going to add one. I'll try to add one there. And maybe one down here. Again, when you're doing this on your own, you're going to be making the choices of where these decorations go. All right. That's done. That wasn't too bad. Now we're going to do the top. I could put a piece of this on, like I did the other one. Yes, I guess we're ma we're matching. Okay, okay. I, I, sometimes you want to do something different. Wire cutters. And I want to lift him up a little bit, just so he has some personality. Got my thumb in the hot glue again. Okay, my little pine cones. One. Oh, I'm going to go way out and do three. I think there was only two on the other one. All right, everybody be happy. And there you are.
Now, again, no, I'm not, that won't get thrown away, believe me. It goes there. I had brought this thinking I might want to put that on top, but it, do, it doesn't work. Um, again, candy jar. And I think this make a nice gift for someone, one or two, tea light or not. Uh, can you, yeah, there they are. What you think? Now I felt that one of these was lacking. Here, let me show you what I'm talking. I have this extra little tassel bit here. And I was looking at this and it's like, this comes down here, this here. We're missing, I'm missing a tassel. So I am going to take the one that I found, have blue, will travel, and add it. I like that better. I like that better. Okay, so there we go. Two more Christmas jars, and I thank you for your time. Uh, we will be doing some more Christmas crafts. I hope you enjoy these, and God bless, and I'll see you next time. <laughs>